Good morning everyone. We are here on Ofu and we're going to begin the biggest hike here on the island to the summit of Tumu Mountain. So behind me is the Ofu village area and we're just at the end of the village about to start the hiking trail and this leads to one of the most spectacular viewpoints that can be found anywhere. So really excited to be hitting the trail and to show you what this hike is all about. A couple in our group have stashed bikes here to ride back to Veoto Lodge where we're staying. The rest of us will be walking. And this is how the trail begins right here. Bit of a road to follow up. So for me and Stefan, as well as Mel and Charlie, this is actually our second time doing this hike. We did this hike six years ago and we're extremely impressed with the viewpoint and the hike. Since then, the trail has gotten a bit overgrown and it's not in the same condition as it was back then, but it's still passable. So this is Charlie's second time on this hike. He also did it six years ago. Charlie, what do you remember about us hiking this trail last time? Um, I remember it being pretty arduous, um, but beautiful. Remember the first part that we just came up was pretty steep. But um, as it goes along, you go through a bunch of trees and forest. Um, and that, that's where I can get lost easily. So I need other people to help me with that. But um, it's worth it uh, when you get to the top. It's, it's spectacular. You can see just both sides of the island and you can have a clear view of the other island it's 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 worth it and it's beautiful have a little bit of a clearing here where we can see the mountain we're going to be climbing up we're gonna wrap around it to the left, but you can see a high point way up there that we're gonna be working our way towards that and beyond. Just off the main road or trail here is the solar farm or power plant. Looks quite overgrown. Just walking through the brush here to take a quick look at it. Let's see here. Here's a good view, the solar panels. Here is a hiking marker. So we're turning off of that road and heading into the jungle here. Also see we have some trees that are gonna be flagged with orange tape. So on the way up here, right away, we're seeing a lot of hermit crabs and shells. And I was told that the purple ones like this are the ones that will eventually become coconut crabs and leave these shells totally behind. This one's not coming out. He's not aggressive at all. But yeah, we're kind of watching our step heading up. So we head up through the jungle here, very enclosed. See branches and leaves crossing over the trail everywhere. It's nice, it keeps it cool through this section. Very hot, humid day. Very few clouds in the sky. So we'll take all the shade we can get. Wanted to take a moment and talk about one of the hazards on this trail, this coconut. So coconut trees are overhanging the trail at some spots. So you gotta keep an eye out for those and obviously not walk directly under them or look up while you do because I've seen quite a few of these along the trail so far. So about 600 feet in elevation came to this major bend in the trail. And narrowing down just a little bit but it still is not overgrown in any way. 
been climbing a very steep grade for a while. See the ferns on both sides of the trail. What I've noticed about this trail so far is that there's some real steep sections and they, those have flatter sections in between like right here to give you a little bit of a break. But what's also neat right here, as I walk through this part, I can hear the waves crashing far below. Kind of a nice sound to remind us we're here on this island with the sound of the waves and the lagoon and the opportunity to swim with when this hike is all finished up to cool off. You can see the thick canopy up above us as we're hiking. So far it's been thick like this the whole time so that's allowed very little sunshine to get through and it's keeping the temperature a little bit cooler on the trail. Although at the same time, it does trap the heat a bit. This spot right here is the first sign of the trail getting a little bit overgrown. Still easily passable, but I bet this was one of the first places to get enclosed by the jungle when the trail fell into disrepair. It's been cleared now, which is nice and easy to get through this part. Passing by some more orange tape. The trail is not hard to follow at all. So it's not like we need that, but it's just confirms that we're on the correct trail. Passing through a Really overgrown section here. See some trees have fallen over the trail or branches extending way down. Look at this one, branches curved down to the ground. A little bit of an opening right here on the left side of the trail in the canopy. You can actually see the water there. I think we're looking out toward the north side of the island. We just came out of a little tunnel there in the brush and have a little view here looking out at the water. Wanted to take a moment and talk about wildlife on this hike. Lots of birds, you can hear them nonstop. A few seconds don't go by before I hear another bird chirping or making noise. But also there's skinks that are fairly large. Just saw one, but they kind of blend in with the surroundings and they're fast, so that's hard to capture on video. And then also the big thing is the coconut crabs. The further we get up here, the more likely we are to run into a coconut crab. We're about two thirds of the way up the trail now to the summit and trail is still in fine condition. And we've only spent a couple minutes in the sun so far. So it's been very shaded and enjoyable. Little bit of a bypass right here of some brush. Kind of went up, back down.
Here's our second coconut crab we've spotted on the way up. Right there, he's kind of taking shelter in a tree. Claws out at the front. Really, really neat creatures, the coconut crabs. He thinks I'm trying to, I'm not gonna get any closer than right here. Don't wanna stress him out too much. And we are just turning off the main trail. This is the junction. Straight ahead goes on up to kind of a clearing at the top with no views, but we're turning off right here. And this is where it's gonna get a little bit harder as we head down this area. So this is the small spur trail which leads up to the viewpoint. And it's a little bit of a jungle climb and a little bit of bushwhacking. I think there's a rope or two to climb up, but a very short section, but probably the hardest part of the hike. And one of the old hiking trail markers is still here. has been steadily going downhill for a while. Just slight, a slight drop in elevation. Not at all overgrown like I was expecting. Look at the way this small branch has wrapped itself around a larger branch. <laughs> Pretty cool how it just loops around back and forth. We're passing by some large boulders right here. Huge boulders at the top of the mountain. Look at this. And even bigger ones just ahead. Look at these huge rocks. So let me show everyone what the, the summit viewpoint looks like, the rest area. Right here, Charlie and Stefan resting. And nice bench to sit on and relax. And now let me show you the views. Right up here above our little summit view, there's a lot of birds flying around. They really like this area. But let me try to describe what we're looking at here. This is looking down the Leolo Ridge. The, the main ridge line here above Ofu. As we get down here, that triangular or pyramid shaped peak down low, kind of in between the two higher points, 
if I'm pronouncing that correct, that's called Sunu Ateao Peak. And then over there is Olosanga, the next island over. And the high point on that is Piu Mafua Mountain at 2,095 feet in elevation, higher than where we are standing right here. Of course, out there in the ocean, that is Ta'u. That is another island that is inhabited here, uh, very close to Olosanga. And looking down here, we can see the National Park Beach in Lagoon, where we do all of our snorkeling. we all made it to the summit here our group made it up here to enjoy this special viewpoint but it was about six years ago that our whole group made it up here came to Ofu for our first time and found this incredible viewpoint and hike truly one of the best views in the world from everywhere I've ever been personally but just so special to be up here looking out at the rest of Ofu at the National Park Beach in Lagoon over at Ol Sanga and the, the very beautiful South Pacific Ocean. So that's about it from here from the summit. We're going to head down, but definitely a spot we're going to continue to remember and appreciate for the rest of our lives. Let me go around them. Coming up on one more coconut crab. Have to somehow get by him. There's a bunch of chickens. Oh yeah. He's <laughs> gonna try to follow me. What are you doing, Bruce? Big old pets, huh? Okay, let go, Bruce. Hey everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here, watching our hiking videos and snorkeling videos here in Ofu. We had a wonderful 10 days here. And myself and Bruce the Fruit Bat would just like to say goodbye. He is so adorable. He's being well taken care of and raised and will be released here. So yeah, thanks so much for watching the videos and we'll see you later.